What's good with y'all, Collective? Welcome to the uh, Waves of Mystery Tarot. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe button. I will indeed have a link in the description box below for donations in case y'all want to donate a generosity. That'd be greatly appreciated. This one I resonate with everybody. And just like I said, I'm other read, but they got a lot of Zodiac signs out there. A lot of people that has apps or whatever it may be. There's a lot of people that read tarot cards, bro. So if somebody out there see a lot of people... This is why tarot becomes frustrating and irritating because people think, oh, well, it could be them that they're talking about. But there's plenty of people out there. That's why it's a general read, okay? And just like these people that say, oh, they could be a Scorpio out there that could be doing all this. You think I'm going to sit there and get upset? You know, even if they say, oh, it could be a tarot reader, a masculine, this, a masculine. But there could be so many people out there that could be reading cards that's behind the scenes or could be reading cards where you can't even see them. And yet it comes through the spread, but doesn't mean that it fits the description of you. No, it does not. So that right there is something to pay attention to. Okay. It's a lot of people out there that, 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 that's quick to get upset like that. Now, when there are certain things being spoken down to the detail form, I'm talking about to the T. And that's something right there that you need to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to people, somebody having apps, like, let's say, I was also picking up, this is something else I channeled, whatever I got off that video. They could have, like, some type of dating apps. Like, it, 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 it may be Snapchat, but I'm getting that people use that. Whoever this person was that went to that reader, it's like they use that for dating or whatever. That's, that's what I was getting. Or they could use some type of dating app, you know. But uh, anyways, that was something I, I channeled. Right after I got off that video. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what's going on for the current energy. Okay, clear the energy. What's going on for the current energy, Holy Spirit? Current energy for right now. Ooh, the star. A lot of you out there, you may be in Aquarius. And you have made a final decision to stay in a certain position is what I'm getting. Or there's something that that, that is being analyzed to where this is who you are with the star card. So a lot of you out there are possibly in the public eye. I just got finished saying that. So a lot of you out there may be in the public eye. You may be in Aquarius. Don't have to be. So some of you out there may be in the public eye and you feel this sense of inspiration flooding throughout your energy. It's because you have a lot of protection around. You have a lot of some of you out there may be seeing orbs with the white stars. So some of you out there may be seeing orbs. This could be at the corner of your eye. Or you could feel like something is hovering around you, but it's not something that's bad. It's something that's protecting you from bad energy. So a lot of you out there uh, are definitely taking care of your spirit on a spiritual level. So some of you out there are definitely taking care of your spirit on a spiritual level. You could be drinking a lot of water right here. So you're definitely staying hydrated. And taking care of yourself on a spiritual level. And this is giving you a lot of inspiration. But you also have a lot of protection around you. Some of you out there could be uh, something about salt. Himalayan and sea salt. This will represent sea salt with the white stars. So a lot of you out there take care of yourself. You take care of yourself by drinking proper water, by drinking your proper source of water. You're also taking care of yourself by believing and having faith in something. So some of you out there have faith in something that you've been doing. And you have made up a fight. You, you have made a final decision here with the two of wands reverse. And we have the five of wands in the back of that with the lovers here. And I'm also getting like there may be a lot of people that may be fighting for your attention, but yet. It's not about attention for you. You don't have attention on these other people. But yet they have other people that may be fighting for your attention for you. And this is going on behind your back. That's usually the way it works here. Because when you are out there looking for somebody, there's not going to be none of this, oh, this and that, this and that. But the minute you take your attention off of looking for somebody and you focus on what whatever you love doing, that right there is going to create the exact opposite. And this is what's going to create people to be attracted to you. It's because you simply don't care. So a lot of you out there, like you have a care and love at heart, but you're not going to be out there, bro, looking for somebody to entertain or looking for somebody out there to talk to. You are busy focused on your spirituality. And this right here may be having people 
behind the scenes that feel like they're in competition, that, 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 that they have to fight each other for you? <laughs> what are you going to do, swing the wands and get in trouble? You know what I'm saying? Look like to me, they good at swinging, swinging sticks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you want me to do, send them a drum set? You know what I'm saying? You want me to send them a drum set, all, all the wines they could swing? You know what I'm saying? Look, look like they're pretty good. I wonder if they can make a beat. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> all, all that beating, and, you know what I'm saying? All that beating and banging, going against each other's sticks. Man, you going to break your sticks. You're going to break your sticks. Then you're really going to be mad. Then you're really going to be wanting to fight with each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to have a pair of sticks. What are you going to do? You, you want me to arm some sticks? You know? I mean, you ain't supposed to hit each other's sticks. You're supposed to hit the drums with it, man. What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to hit the drums with it. You're supposed to go out there and build a fire with, with wood, man. What the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, getting back, you know what I'm saying? Getting back to the read. But at the same time, bro, like, like, this is giving me the vibes of something petty going on behind the scenes. And it's because of possibly a lot of people being attracted to you. But you didn't ask for that. And it's like a lot of people are jealous as hell with the three of cups reverse. Like, these individuals that thought they was friends. It's like, I'm getting that. They may be. This is giving me the vibes of uh, females here. So, some of you out there may be a female that may be an Aquarius or a Gemini. And there's just a lot of people, bro, that may be jealous of you. You can even have friends that, that you're starting to uncover like some type of group here. You're starting to uncover the fact that they are going against you and trying to tear you down. You also may be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or on the, or on the cusp of Gemini, Cancer, Gemini, Cancer, Cusper. So you may be on the cusp. And yet you have all this going on behind the scenes. A lot of friction with people. It's all because of this right here, because you shine bright. It's going also be a man too, but there's a lot of feminine energy here. So you may be a feminine Aquarius, a Gemini, or you may be a Gemini Cancer. I was about to say Cancer uh, Scorpio, but there's no such thing as Cancer Scorpio cusp, but no. Or some of you out there, you may be a Scorpio feminine here with the uh, Queen of Cups. I meant to say Libra Scorpio cusp, but that's what it is. So you may be a Libra Scorpio cusp. And you may have some type of high levels of or, or, or a lot of Aquarius in your chart or Gemini in your chart. Some of you, you may have an Aquarius rising, a Gemini rising. So that would represent the outer persona, like how you come across to other people. So you may be very multitasking type of individual, like you're a multitasker. Okay, so that would go along the lines of an air sign because Gemini and Aquarius... More so Gemini, even though you, you may not be a full-blooded Gemini, you may have the rise, and this may give you multitasking abilities because that is one of Gemini's traits. But this could also be about a lot of wisdom here, like you're very smart with the star card. You have a lot of high-level IQ. So a lot of you out there, you may have an Aquarius rising or a Gemini rising. That would give you somewhat like a multitasking type of persona, out of persona. Like you're very communicative. You will communicate with people. But it's like now nah, you're not communicating with anybody. You're communicating with your spirit and feeding your spirit what it well deserve, what it's well deserving of. And yet you got all this going on behind the scenes. Oh, well, why? Why? Why is she ain't talking to us anymore? Because the lady busy focused on herself. She ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you going to do? Bust each other upside their own head? <laughs> That's stupid, bro. <laughs> it's like, what, they expect you to care? They expect you to care that, that, that they could turn against each other and hurt each other? Like, like you don't give a shit. That's that's the type of energy I'm getting here. Well, well go ahead. Go ahead. If that's what you want to do. Like, I'm literally getting somebody that don't even care. <laughs> Bro, you don't even care who, who was a friend at one time and yet they all turned against you. 
And it's all because you love yourself with the lovers. You could care less. <laughs> you got somebody pouring water in the pond, bro. Helping the pond out. Nurturing the pond, yet yeah, you got all this. These people are, what, they mad because you can help nature? What kind of bullshit is this? That's exactly what I'm getting here. But you also have somebody that may love you. That's not part of all these individuals going against you. There's somebody right here that may love you. It's like there's a lot of love here. Maybe a Gemini or Aquarius. But there's definitely something going on involving your stability and your shine. <clears throat> yeah. The Knight of Swords and we also have the Hangman reversed. A lot of you out there are progressing forward at a rapid speed. And it could be bringing in a lot of wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be bringing in a lot of wealth. So this position that you're in is bringing in a lot of wealth. And this is freeing you from a lot of things that people may be trying to do behind the scenes. Some of these individuals may be trying to manipulate you. But yet you're seeing things in a different perspective. They could have also tried to get you to go against somebody. And since you're doing the exact opposite and communicating with somebody that you're attracted to. Or you're into. They don't like that. They don't like that because they're not on your vibration. That's why. What else is going on here, spirit? Yeah, the two of wands reverse here. You made a final decision to take care of yourself and to just live in your higher calling with the fool card right there wanting to show itself. Some of you could be an Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So a lot of you out there are just focusing on yourself. You don't have the time for the drama. Yeah, exactly. I just seen the nine of cups turn over. There it is. Look, nine of cups. So a lot of you out there are happy on your own, but there may be somebody on your mind that you're communicating with on a 5D level. So you have a lot of telepathy with somebody, even though you may be single and fine on your own. This could be a water sign and you could be a water sign or the both y'all could be water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And you both are picking up each other through telepathy. And there's a lot of telepathic communication going on because you really like this individual. And yet, you're, you, you're somebody that shines bright. Yeah, exactly. So there's a new love here that has came in out of nowhere mysteriously. And it's like the Six of Wands here. So whoever, whoever this is going for, you are somebody that may be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, don't have to be. And you may have a lot of emotion and a lot of love towards a new person that may be another water sign. So you can understand each other on an emotional, intuitive level. So there's definitely a lot of intuition going on here. There's a, this is a deep spiritual connection that has sparked off. Somebody also has the tendency to calm this individual down on an intuitive level, if that makes any sense. Because I'm looking at somebody maybe on a cancer, Leo Cusper too. But yet, there's there are some type of similarities here. The both of you may kind of resemble each other through the way that you communicate. You're very passionate about each other. I'll tell you that right now. But it's passion in the spiritual realm right now. But some of you, you may be talking to this individual physically. Having a physical conversation. Now, this could be a person. This could be over the phone. And it's like the both of y'all are throwing your hands up and surrendering to the fact that you do have a connection there. You're not avoiding it. And it took for one person to actually inspire this individual to break them loose out their mind in order for them to communicate. That's what I'm getting with the Eight of Swords reverse and the Tower reverse. But I'm looking at both of these individuals throwing their hands up. As I say that they're not going to sit there and keep resisting because what it was going to do is it, it, it was going to make them think about each other all the time. It will come on intensely. So a lot of you out there are definitely 
talking to somebody right now that may be a new person, Ace of Cups. Could be a water sign. You both could be water signs. Don't have to be. But there's a lot of genuine generosity, a lot of genuine energy being sent to each other. And it's like you you definitely have a strong telepathy with this individual. They could be telling you that they want to be with you. You could be telling them back like you want to be with them right back. I'm literally seeing somebody talk to somebody through telepathy. As I say that, I already know that you're meant for me. And it's like you are both holding conversations spiritually. And it's coming through like a good energy, a genuine energy. You don't feel nothing off. This individual is also very attracted to you. Very, very, very attracted to you. Like even when they be drinking their water, something about water. They could be drinking water and yet you're on their mind. It's like I literally see somebody sitting at a table and they're drinking their water. Or they could just be sitting there and meditating and yet they have a cup of water on the table. And yet they drink their water. And whenever they meditate, you're on their mind. Some of you, the number two could be a significant number here. Sound like to me, a lot of people try to keep y'all apart. With other people's opinions, could be coming from the other person too. People in their ear telling tell them things. That's not the truth. Yeah, the seven of pentacles reverse telling them not to invest. But this is hurting them. And something is making sense to this individual. So I'm getting like justice. Somebody wants to speak to you. With the ten of swords reversed here. Somebody may want to speak to you. Yeah, the star card. So some of you may be in the public. Public eye. That would represent the star. So what's going on here, Holy Spirit, with the energy? For April 2023? The Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody feel like they missed the best opportunity here. A good, heavy opportunity, like something that would bring this individual stability. And you are indeed the ultimate happiness, but I'm looking at a lot of you out there being happy. Like, this is a point in time where you're happy. Some of you may be a Leo, but whatever, whoever is on your mind makes you very happy. King of Cups reversed. We also have the Hangman. So you're seeing something exactly for what it is. That's what I'm getting. You're happy that something was brought to your attention and you're seeing things from a different perspective. The Ace of Wands. You could be possibly seeing why somebody was cold here. You could be a Leo that could be seeing how a Pisces was kind of cold or pulling back emotionally that didn't want to take any action. But yet something is being seen at a different perspective, perception. Perception. Attraction is indeed there. This is a strong spiritual connection. Somebody may be having thoughts of getting pregnant by somebody here. Because the sun and the sun card can represent a positive pregnancy, and the ace of wands can represent a positive pregnancy. But this is thoughts what's going on in somebody's crown chakra. Because they're that into the individual. Like, there's a strong connection here, and it's genuine, too. Thumbs is up like that. But they are also seeing why somebody was cold. Because somebody kept ignoring their feelings here. Somebody kept ignoring what spirit has been trying to tell them about somebody. That That is their match with the Ace of Wands here, which represent you could take the offer. Don't just sit there and contemplate about it. This would be a good investment. And whoever this individual is may be having thoughts of pregnancy here going on in their crown chakra because they're that into this person. They may, in fact, love this individual, too. Yeah, exactly. Will of Fortune, brother. Universe is literally coming through 
and telling this individual to take the offer. It's like spirit, the ancestors, the heavenly realm, everybody is all over this. That this is a good offer to take. This is going to make this individual very happy with the sun card. So you, you may be a Leo or a Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. We also have the two of pentacles reversal. Something is definitely being dropped by trying to make a decision. Somebody's making a decision. Somebody's making a decision because they're going through a spiritual awakening. Four cups. Somebody sees why somebody was emotionally pulled back. Somebody could have also been under some type of spiritual attack. It's what I'm getting here. So somebody could have also been under some type of spiritual attack. And yet they was throwing mixed signals and mixed messages on purpose. But yet the original person that they're into is the person that's picking this individual up on their crown chakra. So if somebody could have seen something, whether it be like a message, whether it be like a post or whatever it may be. That right there was just a bunch of amplified confusion that was meant for the enemy to see. But yet somebody already has called on to somebody in their crown chakra that makes them incredible. Bro, this is incredible happiness. Even though somebody may be pulled back and be kind of cold and there's no communication. There's a lot of spiritual communication. There's a lot of spiritual insight. And this is something right here that is meant to be taken as an offer. It's a good offer with the thumbs up. Now, if it was like that, I'd be like, nah. But with the sun card coming out for the first card to spread with the hangman and another major arcana, this is something that is opening somebody's spiritual senses to sense the main reason why somebody was cold. But yet there's love there. Two of Wands here. So there's a so there's a decision somebody's coming up with here. The high priestess. So some of you out there, you may be a Pisces or a Leo. Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. You intuitively are seeing something, bro. Your third eye is clearly open to the extremes here. Something keeps on, on pulling you back towards somebody. And it's not somebody manipulating you either. Like, this is actually genuine with the hangman. Somebody is definitely appearing in your crown chakra over and over and over and over and over. And some people out there may think that this is a crown chakra attack. It's not. This is somebody that's meant for you with the ace of wands. That you're very passionate about. Like, this individual also, you're very physically attracted to this individual. And your intuition keeps on telling you not to leave this individual behind and move on. Your intuition may be telling you to make a move. You may be a psychic. Your intuition is telling you to take this offer. Yeah, because this is right on top of the high priest's head. Because this will be about moving on. But the universe don't want you to do that. The universe wants you to go back. Because that's the way it's turning in your favor. They want you to go back. They want you to wait with the hangman. They don't want you to leave. It's not this person. It's the universe. Even though they may seem like they don't love you. I'm telling you, but this individual loves you. Whoever has been circulating around your crown chakra repetitively. And yet you have strong, intense feelings towards them. That person, it does indeed love you. Exactly. Queen of Swords here. Somebody has to speak up though. It's like somebody's angel is trying to get their attention. Like speak to them. Speak to them. This will be all about hand communication. Grab on the phone. Getting on the phone. Communicating by phone. Communicating by person. Whatever it may be. The tower reverse. Exactly. Scorpio energy. So somebody is literally giving somebody guidance to possibly communicate with Scorpio. This could also be Aries energy. Somebody's definitely receiving guidance to reach out. 
the magician reverse, but somebody's also using magic in order to stop this connection here, but it's not going to stop it. You remember what I told you earlier? Somebody was using chaos up on somebody to try to drive you away from them and you could have seen something. It was to throw the rest of these people off and yet try to come across as if they was throwing you off. No, if this individual has been in your crown shock repetitively, that is because they love you and care about you. And yet they was doing, bro, you're going to have to understand how energies really work because these individuals will be relentless at trying to manipulate with the magician reversed. We also have the three of swords here. Yeah, use a manipulation to try to hurt a union from taking place here. Something keep, I'm telling you, something keeps telling you to go back. Because somebody was using manipulation upon this individual to try to hurt them. But yet your intuition is continuously telling you to reach out with the Ace of Wands and communicate. You're seeing things for what they are with the hangman. Somebody, a karmic person, was possibly trying to put somebody on a love spell. And yet was coming across as if they was attacking you. But no, this is a message out there to show to the person that has been trying to use this up on them. Not the person that's been circulating in this individual crown chakra. Why is the magician reversed? That, yep, somebody's using black magic. Could be three other Cormac feminines here that was using black magic and they're sitting back watching. This could be three other people right here. Possibly like a workplace situation. They was warned to not do that. <clears throat> this could have also been other people that you took advice from. And one of these individuals could have told you to try to put a love spell on somebody. Because you genuinely do love them. But yet, they was trying to give you some type of advice to get them to go to you and that was the only way that they would go this only made this individual go cold towards you so some of you out there could be getting a different perspective that black magic don't work somebody could have tried a love spell if you're trying to do this to a fixed sign a leo or a scorpio because i do have a lot of fixed energy or a taurus it's not gonna work bro i'm gonna tell you that right now it's not going to work. There could possibly be a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio that is cold because of this. This is not drawing the individual in closer or there's no communication coming in. Somebody's intuition is telling them to watch their friends here. Watch whoever they be communicating with. And whatever you be watching online here on how to get somebody, you're taking the wrong advice. This is going to work against you here. Because these individuals right here, bro, just like I said in my last read, they're not truly connected to spirit. All they're doing is casting illusions with the moon. Cancer, Scorpio energy. Or just like I said before, you may be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. That may be heavily attracted to somebody. But yet there's something going on here with the Page of Swords. And whatever somebody has been watching or hanging around or getting advice from, this is not your friends. These females don't know what they're talking about. Because all they do is put love spells on men to get men. That's exactly what they do. And yet somebody that's strong willed and strong spirited, I guarantee this individual right here, if this is Scorpio Leo or Taurus, will challenge the bricks off these individuals and literally backfire it with the tile reverse I promise you. You're not going to get a man through a love spell or it could be vice versa. It's not going to happen. A man's not going to get you through a love spell and a female's not going to get a man through a love spell. It's not going to happen. And there's also somebody right here, but that keeps on trying to manipulate and manipulate and manipulate, and it keeps backfiring. But yet, somebody's intuition knows that whoever they have had in their crown chakra genuinely does care about them. And if they really want the individual, they're going to have to take the initiative and the action to communicate.
And the universe is right there, right along this individual side. With the will of fortune and the ace of wands. So if somebody's taking advice from other females here, that doing a love spell is going to work, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. This is going to backfire. This is going to make people feel rejected. And it's like somebody is receiving guidance and knowledge. Why it's backfiring. Okay, so why is the sun card here? The seven of cups. So there's a lot of fantasizing here. There's a lot of daydreaming. And it's like, this is somebody that makes you feel complete. You may be a Leo, but there's somebody that you definitely have in your mind, but they pop up in a genuine way. It's like somebody's face keeps popping up in your third eye of vision. And this makes you very happy. It makes you feel complete. This brings you a, a level of contentment. Like you want to please this person. So I'm getting a lot of pleasing energy. You want to please this individual. You definitely are fantasizing about somebody here. You may be a Leo or a Leo may be fantasizing about you. <clears throat> you may be a Leo fantasizing about a water sign or water sign fantasizing about a Leo. Could be vice versa. Could be both ends going on. Why is the King of Cups reversed? The Queen of Cups upright again. This has been showing itself a lot, yeah. Somebody loves somebody. Somebody has a very, very, very strong connection here. Even though these two may be, one may be in reverse and one may be upright, somebody has a very intense attraction towards somebody and it's genuine. But the Ace of Wands. Even though somebody could have went about it in a very underhanded way, it's not going to stop them from loving somebody even though they went cold. That's the energy I'm getting. Even though somebody could have seen something that could have, that was just kind of heart-wrenching. Because they intuitively know that they was doing something wrong. And their intuition keeps guiding them back to somebody. Their emotions keep pulling them back towards somebody. Their thoughts, swords all about thoughts, keeps pulling them back. Because the universe is trying to tell them something. Their intuition is coming on very strong. As I say, it may seem like the individual don't love the Queen of Cups, but he does. That man does love you. Communicate with him, you'll find out. That's what the universe is trying to tell this individual. Communicate with him and find out. You find out the truth. And then it's going to blow her mind like, well, it's not as bad as what, it, what I thought it was. Exactly. So there may be somebody that may be in love with the King of Cups in reverse, but this is the illusion that he may be in reverse. This individual is definitely picking up this individual on a crown chakra too. Even though somebody could have did something underhandedly and they stopped because they seen something wasn't working and they gained a different perspective and that wasn't working. Okay, so this is telling me that somebody's learning. Somebody's learning possibly the hard way. But there's love here, though. This could be vice versa. King of Cups upright with a Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, so it could be, even though it's been depicted like this, it could be shown like this. Okay. But we definitely have a King of Cups reversed clarified by the Queen of Cups upright. Like this Queen of Cups may think that this masculine don't care about her or love her, but he does. He does. This individual is very unreadable when it comes to the physical. So this individual is very mysterious. This may be a Scorpio that a feminine may be in her head about. 
Because that is the mysterious sign. That's the most mysterious sign out there. This individual, brother, may come across as cold, but I'm telling you, if there was to be communication, this individual, you would literally see something that would just blow your mind. Everything that you've been thinking in your head right here that you've been seeing in your third eye vision, there's an individual that's allowing themselves to be seen in that vision. They're not really cold. And somebody may be frustrated and confused, like, what's going on? The individual is trying to protect themselves and protect you from black magic, okay? Because they know somebody's trying to mess with his free will. Somebody may be trying to mess with your free will on the outside, okay? Because we did see a lot of group of people, a lot of conflict. So somebody's definitely doing conflict magic here, okay? So if there was a post that could have been seen or a message that could have been seen... But to be honest with you, when it comes to a Scorpio, we would throw mixed signals like that. We know somebody is trying to do something underhanded, and it's like they can't figure it out. Like, huh? But it's to the ones that are doing that. It's not to the one that we care about. You know, 311, as I'm saying that. Like, we could claim that we like somebody else. Okay, for instance. I did a post like that yesterday. Oh, I was in this person the whole time, but yet the truth is, I'm not even into nobody from the past, you know, or somebody else. Because whenever I came back in here and I pulled cards, somebody was doing conflict on me. It was five of swords and the devil that came out. That would be conflict with the mind. And yet what I did was I reversed it and yet amplified it to where it could go back. See, a lot of people is not going to understand that. So there is a lot of heavy manipulation going on here, but it's not from somebody that is trying to hurt this feminine here, okay? He's actually trying to protect her. And she don't know anything because there's no physical communication. But there's definitely a lot of third eye visions here. It's like when this individual is like, well, is this real? It is. It's like she's literally seeing somebody or this individual is literally seeing somebody in their vision. This could be a water sign right here. But they're hard to read. And they also have blue right here. This could be possibly a Scorpio. A Scorpio masculine. That may be in this individual's third eye of vision. That, that makes this individual very happy. It's like a, I'm getting like their heart feels like it's expanding. Bro, if you feel an energy like that, that's not manipulation doing that to you, no. If you literally feel like an expansion or excitement, like, 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 a, like a huge intense wave of satisfaction and genuine energy, like you just want to take action. Your intuition is on point. You know what's going on here. And it's literally telling you that this is genuine. That's why it's guiding you back to that person. To talk to them. You may be afraid to talk to the individual. Because you really don't know how they feel. But you know, you know exactly how you feel about them. But yet the individual feels the same way. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Why am I picking up this King of Cups reverse? Feels the same way about a Queen of Cups here. He does, but he's on guard. He's just not making any investments here. He's on guard because somebody's been trying to hurt his head. He's on guard because of other energies out there and he's trying to protect you. For him to be on guard like that and for him to be protective over you, that shows right there that he cares about you. He's just very cold. Like He comes across as very emotionally cold. But on a 5D level, bro, like you are sensing this individual and your third eye vision repetitively is circulating. But yet this is genuine with the Ace of Wands. He's just guarded. He's not making no investments. This may be somebody that may have a platform that puts out genuine messages here. This may be a fire sign or earth sign too. 
so that, so this is definitely somebody that's not making any investments, but they are making investments when it comes to their career. They could be a public figure. And yet somebody may think this individual, everything, like a lot of things is going through this feminine's mind about a masculine. But the masculine's on guard here. Because of this. If this is a Scorpio man, somebody is interested in here. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of Scorpios out there. Okay? Some of them could be like this. Some of them could be on a platform. This could be, tell me something about TikTok. They could be on TikTok a lot. A lot of activity, a lot of activity on TikTok. Possibly, uh, what's that? Patreon or however you say that. Definitely TikTok, Patreon, and a lot of YouTube energy here with the Six of Wands. And somebody puts a lot of genuine messages out. Okay. So the question is, to answer this individual's question, the individual does feel something for them. Why is this individual on guard with the Nine of Wands here? Page of Pentacles. Because they know three other people, just like I said, they know three other people that's working against this person. That's not their match. Did I tell you that? This is not his twin flame. These three other people are jealous of this individual because they're not giving, he's not giving them attention. And they're trying to put a lot of conflict on him and trying to block some type of connection here. And he knows that he loves this empress. I'll tell you that right now. He just ain't taking action towards these other people. There's somebody that could possibly remind this individual of his mother. Or you could be an empress here that may have a lot of nurturing, motherly-like qualities. You know how to, you have this type of personality where you're very caring and very nurturing. Like you would be able to get somebody to open up. Because you may be open at showing your nurturing qualities. I'll tell you right now, bro. You may remind somebody they mama, yeah. And this individual had a good mother, which I'm getting they did. If this individual had a good mother, it could be a Libra of Taurus. This man could be a Libra of Taurus too, or a Gemini man. But whoever this is had a good mother. And coming from my perspective, us, us men that had a good mother, bro, they definitely going to know how to love very, very strongly. I'm telling you. My mama was good to me. I'm going to tell you, bro, like there come a point in time where I'm going to tell you how my mama was to me. She was always there. She never emotionally abandoned me. She always asked me, even when I didn't tell her anything, I would just have this look about me. She'd be like, son, what's wrong? Tell mama what's wrong. What's the matter? And somebody may be questioning that in their mind. Like, like what's the matter? What's, what's wrong? But my mama would have that energy towards me. Like, what's wrong, son? Tell mama what's wrong. What's, what's the matter? What's, what's bothering you? Tell mama what's bothering you. And yet I keep trying to push away. I'm like, it's nothing, mama. It's nothing. It's nothing. And she, and, 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 and she'd be like, no, there's something wrong with you. What's wrong? Tell mama what's wrong. But she wouldn't amplify it. She wouldn't want to argue with me. And it come a point in time, bro, this was years ago, five to six years ago, I remember this. I was just battling a lot of inner demons, bro. Like, like people really don't know what you be going through on a spiritual level. And this is before I even become aware of what spirituality is. I could have been attacked by witchcraft, somebody doing chaos upon me because I would have these moments, brother, where I would just feel attacked in the head. And yet she would literally be the only one she would try to understand me. And my mama was, she had that healing ability. Okay, she was indeed a Virgo. So she was very grounded. She knew how to ground me. And, bro, even though it would be intense, she still did her best to try to understand me. You know, that's the type of mother I had whenever she was here. She passed away due to stage three lung cancer in 2020. But at the same time, bro, I remember a while back, six to seven years ago, five to six, seven years, about five, six, seven years ago, a while back. That I, I was just going through something in the head, but like I was going through something on a spiritual level and it made me incredibly angry. I was very angry at the time, but she knew how to nurture that anger. She knew how to calm me down. 
And it got to the point, brother, where I was outside, bro, and I was just like, like enraged. I don't know what was going on, bro. I was battling with a lot of inner demons, like I said. And yet, bro, I remember me picking up the front of the car two inches up off the ground. And this like blew her mind. Like, this is not to brag or nothing, bro. I really did do that. And there was some type of supernatural force that come over me. And I was like, and I picked up that car like the hawk, bro. It's like the hawk came over me. And that was the only way I could get my anger out. I'm like, man, you really want to see a beast? You know what I'm saying? They want to see what a beast is. And I did like that, bro. It's like it shocked my mom. Like everybody that was standing around, it shocked them. And it's like I picked up the car two inches off the ground, but you can see the tires literally lift off the ground. And this is the front of the car where the engine's at. And this is something right here, but it caught my attention even. And it's like, I never knew I had that power, but man, my adrenaline was out, all out the roof. I'm telling you. And it's like, after I did that, I was walking around a little bit. You know what I was saying? I was walking around a little bit. I was still angry. But at least I wasn't out there doing anything, you know. I was just trying to calm down. But yet, my mama was right there and understood it. She was the only, literally the only person that can understand me. And I'm going to tell you what happened after I calmed down. I could hear her voice in the background whenever I was lifting it like that, bro. I had everything else, but everything else just went red, bro. It was like red everywhere. And it's like, I could hear her voice, son, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. Just calm down, son. Just calm down. It's okay. And I could tell it affected her. It started to hurt her. And I wasn't going to be mean to my mama because I could hear her voice. She was the angel in my ear telling me. I could hear her voice, bro. After everything else being frozen, like everything else didn't matter. Like everything else was frozen, but I could hear her voice. Son, it's okay. And that caught my attention. That's whenever I was walking around, I was walking back and forth in the yard like that. And she finally talked me into coming up the stairs. I came up the stairs, I went inside. And she fixed me some water, you know, she gave me some water. So I drink you some water, son, it's gonna be okay. And she come right there by the, by the side of me, I sat on the side on the couch while I was sitting there. And I remember the exact position I was in like this. I was mad. I was just looking like that, bro. I'm like, Mom, I don't know what it is. And I just sat there. And I, you know how people stare in the space like that? I was just staring like that. I was angry. And here she is. She was rubbing my back. You know what I'm saying? She's like, it's okay, son. It's okay. It's like, I love you no matter what. Mama's not going to judge you. Mama's not going to be mad at you. You know? And I'm hearing all this. I'm registering all this. She was nurturing me. That's the mama that I had. No matter how angry I was, she was there. And anyways, I remember her sitting there, bro, trying everything in her power, bro. She was doing everything in her power. This right here is what I'm talking about, a good mother figure. She would always cook good food. She would always sit there. She would want, she would want the best for me. She wouldn't sit there and tear me down. She wouldn't sit there and call me out my name. She would make sure to tell me good morning. She would make sure to hug me and tell me that she loves me. She's like, I love you, son. She would always tell me that, but she wouldn't just tell me that, bro. She wouldn't just go out there and brag to everybody. Oh, yeah, with well, this and that. She would literally sit there, bro, and be a good mother figure to me. But anyways, I remember whenever she was talking to me right there, she tried to rub my back to calm me down. You know, as I say, it's going to be okay to bring me comfort, you know. And I, and I remember my body doing like that, you know. And it's like, I, I, I could just get this intensity that, that, that came over me. It was like a calmness that came over me because I started to become so uh, aware of my surroundings. And I could hear her talking to me. She's like, whatever it is, I can understand it. I can understand. Even though you're not telling me I can understand, son, it's going to be okay. There's brighter days ahead. There's brighter days ahead, son. Mama loves you no matter what. I'm not mad at you for going out there. Dude. I'm not mad at you for that. And her doing that, bro, literally is the exact opposite of the frequency that I was in that calmed me down. Because I'm going to tell you right now, bro, some of us out there have one hell of a testosterone in our body. And once that is charged, it's the masculine and testosterone, bro. That's what a feminine is there for, to balance out that fucking... <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, that shit was, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, let's not go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Let's not go back to that. 
I'm telling you right now, bro, it's like some of the individuals out there don't know about some of us old school masculines because I'm indeed an old soul. I hold a lot of that because of my father figure. Because of the man I was raised by, they take no shit, bro. He was a tough man, you know what I'm saying? And I was raised, that's where my genetics come from, Scorpio man. You know, that's where my genetics come from. That's my DNA. But anyways, having her right there, bro, like a, a nurturing mother figure, literally showed me what love is. Not somebody that's going to come against me and try to tear me down even more. I didn't have that type of mama. I didn't. I had a mom that cared for me. She fixed my drinks for me. Whenever I'd be hungry, she'd have me and my daddy's food ready. That's the mama I had. And she wouldn't do it with no lip or nothing. She actually loved to see me and my daddy happy. She loved to see me happy. She loved to see my daddy happy. You know? And she was just a happy-go-lucky person. You could tell in her eyes. She was genuine. You know? If I'd be sick, guess where mama would be? Mama would be right there by my side. She put a cold rag on my forehead if I was running fever. She put a cold rag on my forehead. And she'd sit there and just hold her hand on my forehead like that. You know, she kneel down by my bedside, hold her hand right there, pray for me. You know, I feel better, believe it or not. She would heat up a warm rag, put it on my chest, you know. That's the mother I had. That's the mother figure I had. Whenever I was sick, she would tend to me. She would be there for me. She would actually love me. That's love, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. But but some of these individuals, if you only knew how they treat people behind the scenes, they literally get angry at somebody that's sick. That's a narcissist. Get angry at somebody when they're not feeling good. I didn't have a mother figure like that. I had a mother figure that was like this. That was very caring. There's been a few times, bro, I was angry and she was right there. Right there. Even when I was in this energy. So somebody may remind somebody of their mama. But th these individuals haven't had physical communication yet. I'm telling you right now, bro, if somebody wants to physically communicate, these individuals would have physically communicate with each other, they'll find out real quick that somebody does indeed like them. That's what I'm getting. What's the closing message of this read? Eight of Swords Reverse. Eight of Swords Reverse with the Eight of Wands Reverse. Somebody's going to come out their head and talk. Somebody may also be understanding why somebody's on guard too. Why somebody may be sending mixed signals because they have enemies that's trying to attack them. They also, this man knows that they have enemies trying to attack this Queen of Cups too. With this. But yet, this individual that may be a feminine here, she could be very psychic. She could be a psychic herself. That may be in a divination reading, oracle card reading, etc. And she's genuine. And her intuition keeps on telling her to go back to somebody. To possibly reach out with the page of pentacles. Because the universe is telling her that. She's receiving genuine signs from the universe. Something about this individual's image may be changing too. Because she may be going through something behind the scenes. And yet the man was there for her, spiritually. <clears throat> this individual may be losing weight. They may be losing weight. They could have want, once at one time look healthy, but yet a man has noticed a drastic change in them because they've been secretly in the background watching over this individual and protecting them. You think this man is, it don't, don't care about you, bro? He does. And some of them may be uh, wondering why the man ain't reaching out. But just like I said about the last two other readings, somebody could have already reached out. They're just not going to chase somebody down.
they want to be seen as literally legitimately different than everybody else. And I guarantee you, other people out there will be in the inbox all the time. Did you get my message? Did you get my message? Are you thinking about me? Uh, blah, blah, blah. This individual ain't like that. And the truth is, they ain't even got to send a physical message in order for them to love you like that or care about you like that. And this may be a different type of love that you haven't experienced before. So this is definitely different here. But it's something that's good to take a good offer here. And the universe is literally rocking in your favor. That's why I'm trying to tell you, don't move on, don't leave. That wouldn't be a good idea. I mean, everybody has their own free will, but the universe and this individual's intuition is literally telling them something keeps pulling them back. And it's like the universe is literally telling them that it's a good sign. So why is something pulling somebody back towards somebody else? King of Swords reversed. Because somebody's really not on guard when it comes to this individual. Just like I said, they don't have their sword up. They will be ready to communicate. Why is the King of Swords reversed? Yeah, the Six of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords reverse here. They're not a sneaky, underhanded person. They would communicate. It's like I said, they would communicate. They're not somebody that's going to mentally manipulate this person or be cold towards them. They're not a sinister person. This is the illusion that they was amplifying towards whoever has tried to attack them. And yet, this is how it is the whole time they would communicate with you. Because you have also been on this masculine's mind too. They just ain't spoke to you. But they know that they have some type of dark practitioner somewhere. It could be Aries, Taurus. Something about Scorpio here in the background. That is not doing like, like, like something about some type of spiritual manipulation. But like that, there's somebody right here but that's relentless at doing something. But yet that's going to get stopped. This connection is definitely protected. Somebody's also trying to get somebody to act out of character with manipulation, heavy manipulation, that's karmics. And trying to scare you from this individual, oh, bro, I promise you, this is how it is. If you used to communicate with this man, you will see what I'm talking about. It could be a Pisces man, Capricorn man. Uh, we also have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy, Gemini. Yeah, the Five of Cups reversed here. This is somebody that's not going to upset you or want to sit there and hurt you. Three through three as I'm saying that. Thank you, Spirit. King of Cups here. And he's literally looking at the Empress. Look at that. He knows who you are, Tim. And you remember what I told you about protection? He's protecting you. He's protecting you. He just ain't communicating to you about it. If you was to reach out to him, you would see exactly what I'm talking about. Why is this individual receiving visions of this man in their vision? Whoever this is. Because he's watching over her. Ten of Cups is here. He sees a family with this individual. He's watching over you, bro. This could be a Taurus man, Scorpio man, or a Leo man. Heavy on the Scorpio here. He's watching over you. This is giving me the vibes of like Edward. Because if you ever paid, which I know that's a movie, but if you really paid attention to whenever Bella, but he, it's like Bella sent something whenever she looked up and she was like, I wonder why Edward was looking at her like that. And he was just sitting there with an intimidating look like that. And she thought he was probably out to hurt her. When that van came out of nowhere is where Edward came out of. He came out of nowhere as he stopped that van, didn't he? Look at the intensity in his eyes whenever he looked at her and look at the way she looked at him. Look at the way both of, each, both of those characters looked at each other. There was a lot of intensity there. And she finally seen for herself like, I didn't know you was like that. I thought you was different. Looks could be deceiving. Even though somebody may look intimidating and cold, communicate with them. 
this man watching over this this uh, feminine, cause he knows himself that this is an empress. He just ain't gonna stroke her ego to like the rest will. He's not. I could care less what you be fed out there by anybody else. Let me tell you something. The man is not going to be like every other dude that you talk to or come into contact with. This man ain't going to bullshit around or play with you. And that's another reason why he ain't reaching out. Because he knows they probably got other people trying to get in your inbox and do all that. No. And this individual right here may be thinking that the man has everybody in his inbox. Even if the man did, he would be honest about it. That's another thing. He'd be honest about it. But he's not taking... It's, it may be just a few people, bro. But I'm getting this man may be alone. Yeah, this man's alone. I'm getting a lot of alone energy here. And of course, a lot of people will see somebody as alone as not, a, not attractive. But that's bull crap. Somebody sees somebody that's attractive and they love them. And yet the Page of Swords is clarified, like the Page of Swords with the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This individual literally is watching over this individual and protecting them because they see this Ten of Cups with them. There may be a bit of distance here. It would, it would result to possibly trying to, to have an air travel. Swords all about air traveling. There's the Knight of Cups right there. This man loves his feminine, yeah. And men have a totally different way of showing love, especially when it comes to their difference. If this is a spiritual man, he's not going to be like everybody else, and this could be catching your attention. He's Number one, he ain't double messaging you. Number two, he ain't running after you. And number three, but he's not doing out the ego. He just knows what you possibly have went through with this type of activity. And he's going to sit there, he's going to challenge you. But at the same time, watch over you. Because this man may know that this feminine loves him. Cares about him. I mean, it's obvious. Queen of Cups was clear. The King of Cups reverse was clarified by the Queen of Cups. A Queen of Cups loves a King of Cups reverse. But yet, it's like they don't know for sure or not if they if they if the man loves her. Or cares about her. But yet, look at it right here. Six of Cups is nostalgia. And then we have the visions right here. And whoever keeps popping up in this individual's third eye of vision makes them incredibly happy. They feel a sense of expansion. It's because the man feels that's their wish fulfillment. Communication has to happen. So the man may know that you possibly got the sign spiritually. That this is indeed a deep connection. And it's destined to be too. With that uh, high priest on the will of fortune. It's destined to be. That's why your intuition keeps telling you go back to him. Look at this. It don't matter if you're at a long distance. Even if this may be overseas or whatever it may be. It don't matter. Now this could be just at a long distance. Across the states or whatever. Okay. But even if this is an overseas connection. There's a reason why your intuition and your thoughts keep pulling you back towards somebody. This individual literally... It's protecting you because they see the Ten of Cups with you here. And it's possible to have that with you. So that is accurate about somebody picking up. Somebody having an intense attraction towards somebody. But also possibly love and care and intense feelings. To where the individual wants to get pregnant by the man. Cool. This is a genuine read. Yeah, I can feel the energy. There's nothing off about that, bro. This is actually genuine with the Ten of Cups here. The Sun card is coming out. Will of Fortune's coming out. Ace of Wands is here. Then you have the Tower Reverse. If you was to reach out to this individual, bro, there won't be no, no type of chaotic moment like, like something being rejected. This would actually go in both of y'all favor. I'm telling you. You could be a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. It could also be a Capricorn, a Pisces, a Gemini. Yeah, 
Give me one more message. The Knight of Swords. Some type of communication is going to come in. Some type of communication is going to come in. And it may also be seeing why this individual hasn't taken any action. Because of other people trying to control this individual. Trying to be overly needy and desperate. Yeah, that's exactly why somebody's not communicating. Because they know that this feminine has been through narcissists here. And yet a narcissist will be overly love bombing and all that. That will be quick to feed this empress's ego. That's what this all that's what this is all about. And they're challenging the empress here. To have her see what's really going on, but yet protect her at the same time. And not challenging her in a way to where he could they could break their spirit down, but it's to get her to see that this is the truth. Why he's not reaching out communicating with her. Even though she may have been taught that the man, you know, let the man go to her. But it, it's just as easily for her to go to him. Okay? But me personally, bro, I'm telling you, somebody has already communicated and sent something to protect this individual from some type of black magic. Could have been a message to protect them from black magic here. Manipulation. That was enough. Why should somebody have to go behind that? That should be enough that shows somebody that they care about them. And this may be the same one watching over this individual in the background that's not saying nothing. But yet their intentions are genuine. That's why the universe is continuously telling possibly this feminine or could be a masculine too. To go to them. Because that's their, that's their destiny. They both, they both may be evolved to the point of being great divination readers with the high priestess. Now, this may be something that they do on their own time behind the scenes, okay? Just because I say divination and psychic, this don't have to be somebody in the public eye, okay? This, this could be somebody that may sit in a room like this, you know, and do just private readers, but they don't show themselves in the public, okay? Could be vice versa. So whoever this is is definitely psychic, and they keep receiving genuine visions, they're receiving visions of somebody popping up in their third eye, a vision of a man's face, and it makes them happy. It's like it makes their heart like, it's like an over, it's like an intensified expansion type of energy because of this. The man possibly knows that this would be a great mother figure. She would make a great mama with the empress. I will tell you what this man is attracted to her nurturing nature. He could care less about her outer appearance because he ain't focused on that. It's the eyes to the windows to the soul. Even if this individual right here had a bit of darkness to, to her, he don't give a shit about that. He can actually bring that out of her and challenge her and actually transform her into the empress here. See, people ain't going to talk about that in the tower community. They want to talk about all this divine masculine, divine feminine. But yet... When it comes to literally challenging somebody and literally breaking them, like like transforming them, that right there is not talked about. How in the hell are you supposed to have a ten of cups magically? It don't work that way, bro. Take it from somebody that looks at a logical perspective of things, because some of these individuals out there, bro, just be in fairy tale land. They think things are just going to happen magically. No, bro. It don't happen that way. It can't be all the man that puts in all the work. I'm going to tell you that right now. It can't be just him putting in all the work. That right there would just be a one-sided perspective. If you ask me, this individual has already put in the work whenever the minute that he tried to protect this feminine from black magic being done to her. And yet the same shit being done to him. It should be an equal give and take. And he's not going to sit there just because she may be an empress. He's somebody right there. He is somebody that respects himself enough, but also looks out for her at the same time. But yet, it's giving her guidance to transform her. And to let her see that her visions are indeed accurate. 
But he's not going to be like these other people that are not truly connected to the divine that has tried to use this individual for sexual favors. Interested in the outer appearance. Want to be friends and do all this and do all that. That's somebody that clearly don't know how to stand up in their power and execute their power as a masculine. As I say that, hey, I can do the courting with no problem. I can be the true leader here with no problem. And actually do the right thing where this individual can look up to them as I say that, okay, this individual can be trusted. They're actually not like the rest. Because I'm going to tell you right now, but this individual has been through people trying to hit on them, trying to overly compliment them, calling them beautiful. This mask ain't doing none of that. Why the hell should they have to tell somebody they're beautiful whenever they sense it on a 5D level? Whenever they can see into this individual's nurture and energy. They don't have to continuously remind this individual. They don't have to continuously feed the ego. Because that eventually, bro, will get to somebody's head that's already been through that. That's why the individual ain't doing nothing. There's a challenge here. But at the same time, he ain't challenging her in a negative way. That's, that's what I keep on picking up. Could be vice versa, too. But there was a reason why I was called to be the masculine tower read out there. There was a reason why to balance out the energy. And I'm telling you right now, bro, if there's an equal give and take, relationships will happen. I don't care if you're feminine or masculine. <coughs> there has to be an equal give and take. And me personally, if somebody has protected somebody or sent some type of warning about black magic here to protect somebody, I believe the individual that has received that, res that response has their own free will to respond back to the individual. Or they could just be indeed protecting them spiritually. But it's also physically too. The masculine is just showing this empress here as to say that, look, bro, you already been through people like this. Trying to control you. Trying to do things to show a lot of weakness by threatening to leave if, if you don't respond to them and yet you ain't never received a message from the man that's on your mind as a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Leo man. You haven't received a message from that man like that. And that right there, by this individual not getting intimidated by you not responding, is also showing his strength too. With the uh, King of Pentacles. So if you ever try to test this man here. This individual right here is testing you right back. Because he's going to show you. That he's indeed not like these other people right here. But. He's not doing it in an arrogant egotistical type of way. He does see a family with you. Yeah with the Ten of Cups. Once physical communication is communicated. With each other, they're gonna see. They're gonna see exactly that, I'm telling you. This is what goes through the man's mind. This is the mental. What goes through his mind when he sees this individual and watches over them is a happy family with her. He loves her. Even though they may not truly know each other. May not even know each other at all physically, but yet something is already there. So this is something to do with love at first sight on both ends. They both love each other. Why, I'm, why am I getting both of these individuals love each other at first sight? The chariot reversed. Okay, so this would represent yes. That's, that explains why they can't move on. With the chair reverse, could be a cancer. Because there's no player type energy going on here. And yet somebody's been holding on. Somebody's been holding on with their heart. Their heart has been connected to this individual. So this was love at first sight. That would explain why the individual can't move on. They feel a strong sense of connection with this individual. 
That's a new person. And somebody feels it in their heart. But they also know that this individual is not doing anything to make them chase them. So the man's also showing this individual that he's not going to chase her either. And she's not going to chase him. It's either you communicate or not. So this is somewhat breaking apart some type of illusion. But yet heavy manipulation is being done on some type of union. That is what's happening here. So let's go ahead and get one more lap, one last message. Knight of Cups. This would be the man here. Could be a feminine too. Somebody just has a lot of armor on to protect themselves from this. So is this individual, this feminine could see this individual as a, like a knight in shining armor. Because it can't believe that it's actually genuine. It is, bro. I've been trying to tell y'all that it is. Not everybody out there, bro, is deceptive. Especially if your intuition is telling you something. And you're receiving universal signs and genuine synchronicities, bro, with that ace of wands. Where is it at? The ace of wands is the thumbs up card. Represent and take the offer. The universe is literally telling you. That's why it keeps guiding you back to the individual. That's why you can't walk away with the chariot reversed. It's telling you to go back. Message the individual. With the six of cups here. You are both on each other's mind very heavily. And it's literally coming through somebody's vision. Repetitively. And it's like, what is this? Like, this is... But it makes them happy with the sun card. And I'm getting that this is both on each other's mind. But not to rush anything at the same time. Like not just get together immediately and have a family. No. To get to know each other physically and yet come to, come, come to grips with that it is, it is indeed an actual strong connection. That there's a lot of familiarity there. There's a lot of familiarity even between two strangers is what I'm getting. There's a lot of familiarity here between two people is what I'm getting. There's definitely a lot of familiarity between two people. So even though they may be strangers, it's like they know the connection. They recognize it. There's a sense of recognition. It's like they just know, bro. They both have an inner knowing that you don't want for me. I know you are. I know you are. You don't need to run from me. You don't need to be scared of me. You don't need to be in your head and doubt anything. It is what it is. I'm showing myself to you for a reason. That's what's going on with this connection. I'm not going to chase after you. I'm not going to sit there and do like the other people did to you. I'm not going to do that. They see that we together. We not, baby. That's what it is. But anyways, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. If y'all want to leave any donations out of generosity, I will have a link in the description box below to the ones that's been asking me. It is indeed in the link. If you go down in the description, it's in the description box. You go down, you're going to see a cash app link, okay? But anyways, thank y'all very much for y'all love and support. Even to the ones that don't donate, you just hit the like button. And uh, you can't really comment on my videos anymore, but... At the same time, thank y'all very much for y'all love and support. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see y'all some other time, okay? Peace.